House of Fraser has grown from its early beginnings in Glasgow over 150 years ago to become one of the UK's leading department stores. Their aim to be a responsible retailer means that the 60 stores in the UK and Ireland are committed to their three pillars of action, people, planet and community. Biffa account manager Janine Healy explains how Biffa and House of Fraser are working together to make this goal a reality. Biffa have been a key supply partner for House of Fraser since 2012. As the UK's leading resource management company, not only has Biffa been able to offer a wide range of services to meet House of Fraser's needs, but has been able to advise on the best ways to implement them for visible results. At House of Fraser, we're committed to being a responsible retailer. So we've integrated this into our business vision, our values and our KPIs. To target our improvements to our waste management practices, we have started with two trials in our stores with the intention of rolling this out across our estate as standard practice. For waste, our ultimate goal is to divert 100% from landfill. And while we already recycle much of our plastic and cardboard, there's room for improvement on other waste streams. With such a diverse range of services offered across our stores, we made the decision to focus on food waste at our Manchester store. Here, we're segregating the food waste, which is sent to an anaerobic digester plant to be converted into energy. Every ton of food waste turned into energy saves us approximately one ton of greenhouse gas emissions from landfill. Here in Manchester, we have three restaurants as well as a staff canteen that are part of the food recycling project. The restaurants are very diverse, ranging from a family restaurant to a champagne bar to the staff canteen, where we have over 500 staff per week use. The biggest challenges we have faced is ensuring we have the correct equipment and that all staff are educated in using the correct bins and the reasons for using them. From a sales support perspective, being a responsible retailer is all about actively engaging the store teams to look at ways that we can minimise the adverse effects on the environment. This initiative has involved tailoring the waste collection strategy and equipment to the needs of individual areas and also making it as easy and user friendly for staff to separate food. It is vital to obtain maximum buy-in and cooperation. Working with Janine and Tracy on this project is really beneficial for the company. However, as a store manager, it's really important that we get behind this, as it can make a difference to the environment and a huge difference to your P&L. In fast-paced industries such as retail, shop assistance is short on time and the danger is recyclable waste ends up going into landfill. Any changes introduced need to be simple, efficient and environmentally sound. Fraser's Glasgow is House of Fraser's original store, established in 1849. We have all the heritage, we have all the brands, but with that we have some challenges. The scale of our store is the biggest challenge that we face in terms of getting the team on board in our recycling programme. Biffa have been a great help to us in steering us in the right direction. We generate a lot of recyclable materials in terms of packaging and that helps us with the dry mixed recycling side of things so we've escalated the dry mixed recycling and reduced the general waste because of that. I think as a result of all the measures that we've put in place we've probably produced more dry mixed recycling in the last three months than we have in recent times. I've probably put it at an increase of 50 percent as opposed to what we were producing before that. In the last six months, House of Fraser has made huge steps towards their target of diverting 100% from landfill. We will continue to work with them to ensure a reliable, cost-effective service that will help them reach their sustainability goals. That's all from this issue of Uplift. We hope you found it useful. And until next time, goodbye.